In this video, we'll balance the equation for NaCn plus CuCO3. This is sodium cyanide, and then we have copper to carbonate. We'll also look at the type of reaction. So let's start with the type of reaction. We can see the sodium, it starts with the cyanide here, but over here it ends with the carbonate. The copper, it starts with the carbonate, but now the copper here is with the cyanide. So the sodium and the copper, they switched places. That makes this a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. Let's balance the equation here. And we'll use a bit of a trick to make it easier. We have one sodium and then CN, the cyanide ion. We have it here and here. It's a polyatomic ion. It's on both sides. We're going to count it as just one thing. We have one cyanide ion. That'll make it a lot easier to balance this equation. You get the same answer either way. This is just faster. One copper. And again, we have a carbonate ion here and here going to count it as one thing, one carbonate. Product side, two sodiums, one cyanide times two, so we have two of those, one copper, and then just the one carbonate. So you can see this makes it a lot neater. We can see that if we put a two in front of the sodium cyanide, one times two, that'll give us two of those, and then the cyanide, one cyanide times two, two of those, we're done. This equation is balanced. So that little trick can save you a lot of time. Time is important on exams. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaCN plus CuCO3 and the type of reaction, which is double displacement. Thanks for watching.